Tesla's Cybertruck is one of the most anticipated electric vehicles in the market. But its production has been delayed several times, and now it is expected to go on sale in 2023, with mass production starting at the end of that year. This means that customers who pre-ordered the futuristic truck will have to wait even longer to get their hands on it. The delay has been attributed to various factors, such as supply chain issues, design changes, and new technology challenges. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the Cybertruck will have a lot of new features and functions that will make it stand out from other electric pickups. He also said that he wants to make the Cybertruck affordable despite having awesome technology. However, some analysts and investors are worried that the delay will hurt Tesla's competitive edge in the electric pickup segment, which is expected to grow rapidly in the next few years. Several rivals, such as Ford, Rivian, and General Motors, have already launched or announced their own electric trucks, which could attract customers who are looking for alternatives to Tesla's Cybertruck. Another factor that may have affected Tesla's shares this week is Elon Musk's testimony in a lawsuit filed by shareholders who accused him of misleading them about the acquisition of SolarCity in 2016. Musk defended the deal as a strategic move to create a sustainable energy company, but the plaintiffs argued that he used his influence to bail out a failing company that was run by his cousins. The trial is expected to last for two weeks, and the outcome could have significant implications for Tesla's governance and reputation. Tesla's shares have dropped by about 10% this week, as of Thursday's close. Some analysts attribute this decline to the Cybertruck delay and the Solar City trial, while others point out that Tesla is still performing well in terms of revenue and deliveries. Whether Tesla can overcome these challenges and deliver on its promises remains to be seen. The semiconductor sector has been facing a roller coaster ride in the past few years. On one hand, there was a huge surge in demand for chips from various industries, such as automotive, wireless communications, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. On the other hand, there was a severe shortage of chip supply due to the COVID-19 pandemic, geopolitical tensions, and natural disasters. This led to higher prices, longer lead times, and production bottlenecks for many chipmakers and their customers.